In building power supply sources with high current voltage stabilizers, hardware engineers normally use specialized integrated chips with both reference and adjustable voltage. Circuits with stabilizers connected in parallel are often used to increase power. Practical circuits with powerful bipolar transistors are also commonly used in professional power supply applications. The recent trends in the field of electronics shows that special attention is given to power supply circuits based on cutting-edge field-effect transistors. An example of this is a simple high-current voltage stabilizer based on the powerful field-effect transistor IRLR2905. This transistor is designed for operation in the latching mode, but in this circuit the mode is linear, and yet the device fully manages its tasks according to the characteristics. The unique transistor has an extremely low on-state resistance with a load current of up to 40 amperes at the maximum voltage of 55 volts. I used the transistor in the deep pack package, but for future convenience I decided to go with a non-standard solution when mounting it on the board. The field effect transistor is controlled by the TL431 stabilizer. The load characteristics of the structure depend entirely on the power of the source, more specifically on that of the power transformer and diode bridge. The field effect transistor is resistant to thermal overloads, but let's not forget to protect from excessive heat. We will need an efficient heat sink for the purpose. A simple cooler used in this device is capable of providing heat removal under the current loads of only up to 5 amperes. That's why, in order to operate the field effect transistor under high current modes, we would need an appropriate cooler with a great greater heat dissipation area. Now, how does a stabilizer work? The voltage from the secondary transformer winding is supplied to the diode bridge and filter. This voltage is then fed to the transistor's train and then through the limiting resistor to the transistor's gate. Thus, the transistor opens. Part of the output voltage is through the resistor divided supplied to the input of the TL431 chip closing the feedback circuit. Once the required threshold value is generated in the chip's output and the output opens as a result, the voltage at the gate of the field effect transistor decreases and the device enters the stabilization mode. A regulating resistor is used to gradually adjust the output stabilizer voltage.